Father, we worship you this morning. Father, we thank you. You are ancient Zion's king. You reign forever. You reign supreme over our lives. You reign supreme over our homes. You reign supreme in the affairs of men. Father, we worship you. Ando jadaya na na kotele de debo sata yena na kora ma yende debo zegete eka do jana yando dali gede yana no sekete. Father, we worship you. Lord, we come before you this morning to say thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Yes, mande na 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 kosha taya na na leke de gede. Edo zana na ya na na kera mazo dadi gede gede jena no tile ne ne no sike televoja. Father, you reign supreme. You reign in majesty in our lives. You reign. You reign in my home. You reign in my family. You reign in everything that pertains to my life. Father, you reign. We acknowledge your majesty this morning. We acknowledge your majesty this morning, O oh God. Thank you for a brand new day. Hey, Ranene Kuja Dayata Anana Kosekete, Lena Nozi Gedegede, Maroga Tayana No Senede, Ino Jadaya Katoli de Debo Sekete, Remama Dolana Nakore Gede, Ida Rosha Katayana Nana Kore Gede. Father, we say thank you. Thank you for a brand new day. Thank you for waking us up into the land of the living. Thank you for life. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your favor. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for daily loading us with your benefits, oh God. Ah, daddy, that we are alive this morning is by your mercy and grace. That I'm speaking is making sense is by your grace. That my thinking faculty is still functioning perfectly at a hundred percent. Father, it's by your grace and mercy. Father, I worship you. Lord, we thank you this morning. Thank you because you are mighty in my life. Thank you because you are mighty in my home. Thank you because you are mighty in my affairs. Father, we worship you. Hey, nana, koja, daya, nana, nana. Thank you because you reign. Thank you because you reign supreme, oh God. Father, we worship you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty. You are mighty in my life. You are mighty in my home. Father, we worship you. Majesty. Honor and adoration be to your name, O oh God. Honor and adoration be to your name this morning. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we worship you. 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 Olohun wa leyin wa bi akonye leru ara baba mba mu baba mi o agbani gbani lojo ogunle owo ken bere bi jagbani gbani nigbati ogunle aboja gboro gboro gbo mo ti eni no fi aye father we worship you daddy we bless your name this morning 
King of kings and Lord of lords, we adore you. Who are we that you are so mindful of us? Father, we thank you. Oh, Regene Maya Tayana Nasekete, Renon Dalike Naya Toli Gede Gede, Jadiga Nano Siketele Mandade, Ribatola Mayanda Ligede, Endo Libadike De Gede. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Ela runi oba won oba oluwa won oluwa. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Are the champion of the host above, and you are the captain of my destiny. Hey, the captain of my destiny. Yes, Lord. Because it's in you alone that I make my boast. I can't make boast in anything but in you. I know it's by you that I can stand. By you I can do anything. Hey, Father, we worship you. Blessed be your name, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. You are the captain of my destiny. You are the captain of my destiny. Oh, in you alone. Alone in you that can make a boast. Yes. Ah, ah. You reign alone. You reign alone as Lord of all. Lord over everything. Hey, hey. Yes, thank you, Jesus. The host above, and you are the captain of all who are his destiny. <laughs> In you alone, I make my boast. You. Father, you are the champion of the host above. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, what a wonderful way to begin a day. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I wonder how, oh my God. Heaven will be so sweet. Woo! Heaven will be so sweet. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. This morning, I took my time to um, delay a little bit, delay a little bit because um, there's a holiday here in America this morning. So I believe some people at home, they probably was maybe waking up around now or they're not yet woken up, but I just decided to take it slow this morning, right? Take it a little bit slower. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This morning, um, the word God gave me to share with us and talk about is um, obedience. Now, it's going to take a um, couple of, maybe we'll dwell on this for a couple of weeks. It's going to be like part one. Because I've noticed that not even noticed. I myself have realized that when you say you love God, when you say you are the child of God, you are a Christian, a born again Christian, um, not just that, because you can be anything, a pastor, pastor's wife, you can be a minister, a deacon, deaconess, um, head of department in the church, worker, whatever post you hold in a church setting or even in your secular work, maybe in your office. It does not matter the title. 
the number one thing is you are a Christian and you say you love God. If you say if we say we love God, let me put it that way because I'm I'm also talking to myself too. Mm -hmm. When I come up here, I've told you, I've told people, I don't come here because I'm trying to talk to some people out there. I'm also talking to myself because I'm also talking to myself, right? I'm talking to myself and whatever I'm saying here, God forbid, let it not stand against me in the day of judgment because it will start from me. I'm the one that delivered the message. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So I pray that we all learn at his feet each time I come here by the mercy and the grace of God. Hallelujah. 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 So this morning, um, the topic again is obedience. And I say we're going to dwell on it for a couple of weeks. So on the caption, I said, obedience could be direct or from God's servant or a priest or a pastor. Like when I say obedience, obedience, of course, before obedience comes instruction, right? Before obedience comes instruction. Obedience just doesn't happen. It's it's um first of all obedience is first of all an instruction that comes. It could be an instruction directly an instruction directly from God to you sorry it could be instructions directly from God to you instructions directly um, from God to his servant a pastor a priest your parent um, somebody in your um, church right from a deacon a dickness to you uh, oh God told me something about you and he said you should do this now when instructions come it should be a witness to whatever you already know now it, it, it's in dimensions okay it's in dimensions instructions can come based on something about your life or just normal do this i mean sometimes your pastor don't have to hear directly from god but because they are spiritually higher than us i would put it that way spiritually um a shepherd let's put it that way they are shepherds over us and it's not every shepherd that are shepherds. Okay, praise the Lord. Not all shepherds are shepherds. Some shepherds are wolves. Okay, but when you realize that, okay, this is my father in the Lord or mother in the Lord is a truly mean, like uh, it's a truly servant of God, and you know that this person, this man, this woman, truly hears from God. Okay, and they give you instruction. Sometimes it might not necessarily be that God told them to tell you, but in their spirit of spirits, because they are men and women of God, they have something, they, they've seen something, or they have seen a trend, or they have experienced something in their own life. Okay, you know what? Do this. Or let's do this. Let's pray about this. Fast for three days, and I will fast to Let's pray together on this thing. That's an instruction right there. It doesn't have to be that God told them to do it. Because they are spiritually inclined to, to tell you something doesn't mean, okay, maybe God said they should do. But you just know that, okay, what they are telling you is not like they, they should go and die or, oh, no, let me not put it that way. It's not because they are telling you to go and do something wrong. It's about your life. <laughs> okay. So, if you like, fast it. 
or oh, don't fast, pray or don't pray. Even as they said, maybe they said, oh, I will fast along, I will pray along with you. They might be praying, but if you are not, it's not their life. They will do their own part. It's up to you, right? So, like, obedience is very important in the life of a Christian. It is, oh my God, it, I don't know. I don't know how to explain this, but you know, the, like the simple. And I'm not gonna lie. Like I said, anytime I come here, I'm speaking to myself also. I've been in this place before, whereby I struggle with some instructions they give us in church. I'm like, I beg, it's not that serious, Jerry. You know, <laughs> and we've all been there. And you be like, ah, ah, kini, kilo, why? Come on, it's not that serious. I don't think I can do this, diary. I don't have to do this. You know, you struggle with those simple things. Um, on this day, this is what we're wearing. On that day, um, please don't co come to church at this time. Nobody forces you to go and join the church, right? or nobody forces you to go and join a workforce okay I willingly went there and said um, I want to do this please can you allow me to join you it could be any department it could be in the technical department it could be anything okay and each department I believe they have their own rules and regulations but if you if you went there and said, ah, oh, I went there and said, this is what I I want to do this. I really want to be part of you. Then you should be ready to follow every single thing they tell you to do, or they tell me to do. That's just one of the things. One of the things as a child of God when it comes to obedience. Okay moving on under obedience there are benefits and there are consequences right there are benefits and there are consequences um we're going to treat some of some things under consequences today consequences hmm. i pray we will not face the consequences or the um consequences i would say consequences or the 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 bad side effect of not following instruction because like i said instruction comes before obedience if you don't follow the instruction then you are not obeying but if you follow the instruction you are obeying obedience is when you follow instruction and like i said it can come directly from god to you that you just head the Holy Spirit tell you something. Do this. I know the Spirit does not cause confusion. Believe me. If they tell you to, if anybody, a true man, woman, whatever, head over you, leader over you, or me, tells me something, doesn't like I said, doesn't have to be God. You just know. This is just simple simple instruction that I have to do to abide and do this, 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 to follow these rules, to be part of this place or part of whatever they are doing here. And you just know, okay, that's what they want. Okay, fine. And I believe we obeying people above us or heads over us when it comes to service, when it comes to anything, for, 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 for crying out loud, when I worked in the secular world, worked in an office, <laughs> do I agree with everything they tell me? No, I do not. But it's their establishment. It's, it's their company. That is their policy. I want to work here and earn a living 
I got to follow and do exactly what they want. They want me to resume here 5 a.m. You are the one that wrote up. I wrote application. I'm looking for a job here. And they tell me, resume here 5 a.m. You close by 7. It's for me to say, ah, okay, you know what? It won't work for me. I will try and find somewhere else. Oh, and another thing is, yeah, it will work for me. I think I can work here. But once you sign that dotted line, I sign that dotted line. I want to work here. Everything they told you, this is our policy, this is how we do things, this is what we have to do. You must sit on the floor for that seven, eight hours. My sister Luashe, you must follow it because you signed it. That is obedience. The same thing goes for me when I said, Father, I give my life to you. Everything about me is you. Everything about me, I give it to you. I'm, I want to follow you. I want to be your child. Take over my life. <laughs> if God has taken over my life, and I'm being led by the Spirit of God, then... I shouldn't struggle with obeying instructions. I should not. Now, I'm not saying every instruction is being led by God. But there are some things God does that He will allow you to go through it, even though it's not like it's not easy for you, it's a sacrifice. Jesus Christ himself sacrificed. He sacrificed. <laughs> hey, thank you, Jesus. This is deep. I myself, am, as I'm talking, Holy Spirit is talking to me. Praise the Lord. Um, I'm not getting out of myself. Consequences, there are consequences when it comes to obedience. And I pray we will not be a disobedient child to our father there's like I said there are people that God has placed over us as heads be a priest, a pastor, a deacon um, head of department anything, whatever you are doing even your workplace those are like heads over you in the secular world which you have to follow whatever they instruction they give you it is now left for you as a child of God to know by the spirit ask God to guide you to be able to follow instructions and help you to go through it it might not be like I said it might not be easy it might be a lot of struggle it might be a lot of sacrifice that you have to do to be able to fulfill this instruction. Ah, it is well with my soul. It is well with our soul. It is well with us, I'm telling you. Even being a child of God, walking this Christian walk, it is not easy. It is not. Consequences. I'm going to read... Uh, I'm going to take the story of King Saul. King Saul is a king. <laughs> right. He's a king. Who, like, you cannot be telling a king, ah, do this, do that. But a king that allows God to be his father. If you say, okay, I'm a king, yes. But there is a king of kings above me that I must listen to to guide me in this journey of being a king because I've never been a king in my life. If you really know, when I read that story, I'm like, ah, he. but before, before he became king now, he was, he was, a, he was really, you know, really a child of God. He, he did everything right. God was guiding him and everything. Imagine the end of his life after he fell, after he, you know, disobeyed God and everything. 
when I read that, that passage, where it was, let me, um, first Samuel, first Samuel 15, first Samuel 15, 22 to 23, Samuel, the priest, that's, that's a priest in that time that gave guidance, you know, to the kings and people around. Samuel said, has the Lord, has the Lord as great has the Lord as great a delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obedience to the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to heed is better than the fat of rams. Verse 23. 23. Verse 23. It says, For rebellion is as serious as the sin of divination. Divination is fortune telling. Like, um, people that will be telling, like, I don't know the full meaning of fortune telling. But I think it's those people that, you know, they check your stars and they just tell you some things. They check your palm. They say that they are looking at the palm. I don't know much about it, but they're not all true. They're not sincere people. <laughs> Let me put it that way. It's as a sin of divination, fortune telling. And disobedience is as serious as false religion and idolatry because you have rejected the word of the Lord he also has rejected you as king may we not be rejected in Jesus name ah. Jesus Christ ah, this, this, this topic Jesus it hooked me like I started having chills in my bones I almost started crying I'm emotional right now, I'm telling you. This scene is, is the most, I don't know how to put it. The scene of disobedience. Hmm. There are some things will, I will say myself too, I will be like, it's not that serious now. Uh-uh. It's a bit just uh, this and that. But believe me, Disobedience is not small. It's not small. Some people God has put over us as authorities over us. And when they are telling us or telling us to do something, giving us instructions, believe me, it's not them, it's God that is using them to like they are speaking to us as God because He has put them over us. The chairman in your office. God put him there. God put him there. If he says, this is how I want my comment to be wrong, you got to follow. You have to do it. You can't disobey. You, you will be sacked. You'll be fired. Bye-bye. You are not ready to work with us. They will find somebody else. Ah, may we not be rejected. You know, if, you, if, if a company rejects you, um anywhere maybe you you were doing something with a group and they said no we don't need you here find somewhere else it's better than god to reject you or reject me i pray god will not reject us in jesus name this is part of, i mean like i said this this topic is is very i don't know how to say it it is very very strong in my spirit that we need it to hear it as we are going through this new year because some instructions will come directly from god to you and i it's only by the spirit that we can design that this is what god wants and it's the whole spirit will be hammering it holy spirit is not aggressive right it will be telling you gentle gentle 
in my Nigerian language. Gentle, gentle. You always will be reminding you this. I say you should do this. It, like, it will keep coming to you. To you and I. Do this thing. Do this thing. Do this. Like, it, it won't be aggressive. Like I said, it won't be aggressive. But you will know. God is telling me to do this thing. Please, Oluwase, do it. Anybody hearing me this morning, I'm begging you, please do it though. It might look like showing me, pay, am I okay? For real, sometimes the things the Holy Spirit will tell you to do, the things He will tell you to do might look very stupid to you, to me. But believe me, do it. If you, you everybody has a way, God, I know how God speaks to me. But no matter how is no, no matter your own way, how you hear the Holy Spirit this year. This is not even how I planned this thing this morning. But the Holy Spirit has taken over. I'm telling you, this is not what I wrote down. Please, just listen. He might struggle you. You might feel ah, this thing is not right. Why? It might be somebody that hurt you, and me, and God said, go and say sorry. I'm begging you this morning, go and say sorry. I'm like, I don't know what else to use to beg you and I. Oluwa Sheyi, go and say sorry. Go and beg. In fact, if you need to kneel down, kneel down and beg that person. We will not be rejected though. When I read this thing, I say, yeah, a whole king. Is it? Is it that King Saul does not have cows and cattle in his own kingdom that God said you should go and fight somewhere, kill everything, everything, kill it. And he decides, uh-uh, this cow is fat though, come on. Okay, you know what, we can take it, we don't have to kill everything now, it's a waste. Hey, <laughs> then I decided for God after I have told you what to do. Eh? <laughs> okay, let's not kill them now. Let's take them back. We can use it to sacrifice to God. Did God ask of like God never asked him to sacrifice anything to him? He only said kill everything. It's as simple as that. If Saul wants a thousand cows after that killing, that God said go and kill everything, he will get it. He's the king. The king. Please do not allow. Ah, please don't let the devil deceive us this year. Honestly, I don't know how to say this, but I'm begging you and I. I'm begging myself. Please do not allow. Do not let the enemy deceive us this year. Do not allow the enemy deceive us this year. It will bring different kinds of scenarios. It will tell you, oh, it's not that serious. It's, 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 it's just, um, they're just, you know, it's nothing now. It's not that serious. Just, it's just a cow and a, a, a tattoo now. It's, it's just an animal. God cannot be that mad about that. I'm telling you, you'll be mad. Mm. It will be mad. It will be angry. I pray God will not be angry with you and I. And I'm when I read that passage, I'm like, because you have rejected the word of the Lord, he also has re and he was truly rejected. The end of his life was not nothing to write home about. He started going to mediums. Mediums to seek to seek direction. Dead people. <laughs> hey. Like I said, this is the beginning of this topic that we are dealing with. This is part one. We're going to tarry on this top topic for some weeks. For some weeks, because I'm talking to myself also. 
I'm talking to myself also. I pray God will help us. I pray that God will help us. We will not miss it this year. We will not miss it this year. Anytime the Holy Spirit is telling us something and He's telling us to do this thing, don't be stubborn. It's not that serious. Go and do it. Ah, I pray we will yield. I pray we will yield. I pray we will not be disobedient. I pray we will not miss our destiny in this life. Saul missed his own. No? I don't know if he made it to heaven. <laughs> but ah, uh, it was it's I mean a whole king. God said he has been rejected. And it truly was he took the kingdom from him and gave it to another man when he was still alive. Ah I pray God will not reject us in Jesus' name. Ah, God will not reject us in the mighty name of Jesus. King of kings and Lord of lords, we thank you this morning. Thank you for speaking to us once again. Thank you for reminding us that we are yours. We are not our own anymore. And like I said, if you are out there and you have not yet given your life to Christ, just living your life the way you want it ah it's not the best it's not i pray you will come to the knowledge of the glory of god this morning and you can enjoy the life of christ and you can hear him talk to you and guide you in this life this life is wicked. You cannot do it by yourself. I can't do it by myself. It's not possible. You need the help of God in this life. <laughs> in this life, there's so many things we can't see that He protects us from every day. That's what the Bible says. He daily loads us with His benefits. It is well with us this morning in Jesus name I'm gonna go into worship for some minutes and we end it this morning and we'll see you next Monday by the mercy of God I will continue this topic we will continue this topic only God can help us only God we cannot do it by ourselves mm -mm. father we thank you Lord, we worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. Father, we lay our crown before you this morning. And we say, Abba, Father. Our Lord be your name, O God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, be lifted above all other gods. And I
Because you reign in my life. Hmm. Thank you because you reign in my home. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are the ancient of days. Rain, rain. Ah, yes, Lord. You are the ancient of days. And in my life, yes, Lord, ah, rain, rain, yes, daddy, and Omega, <laughs> I worship you, my God, for you are. Father, I give you all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. I worship you, my God. You are worthy to be praised. Father, we worship you this morning. 
I don't want to take too long of our time. I'm already gone past my time. But please, this morning, let's think about this this topic that we discussed. There are so many small things that we just... Oh, it's not that serious. It's not that serious. But God takes it very serious. I pray God will help us in Jesus' name. Thank you everyone that joined. Thank you so much. Mommy Olani Waju, thank you. God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. God bless you. See you next week when we treat the part, the second... I mean, I don't know how many parts we'll have, but... There's going to be many parts to this topic. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. Shalom for now. Bow before your throne.